we now have most of the knowledge that we need for measurement uncertainty estimation. And let us now try to apply this to a more serious, a more complex example, an example that would be quite like a real life chemical analysis. And as this example, I have chosen determination of ammonium ion in water. Ammonium ion is an analyte which is very often determined in water, also in drinking water, in swimming pool water, etc. And it is one of important characteristics of water quality. And very often ammonium ion determination is carried out in spectrophotometric method. And this is exactly what we will be looking at also. And the essence of the method is the following. Ammonium ion itself does not have any absorbance in spectrophotometry. And this is quite common with chemical analysis that the analyte itself does not absorb. But it is converted to a dye to, or to a photometric complex. And this photometric complex then has intensive absorbance in the visible region. And this intensity of this absorbance is measured. The higher the intensity, the higher the concentration of ammonium ion. And since spectrophotometer by itself does not know which absorbance corresponds to which concentration of ammonium ion, then a calibration graph is constructed and then the concentration of ammonium ion expressed as ammonium nitrogen is found from the calibration graph. And we will now look at this determination and the uncertainty estimation in a step-by-step -step manner. And we will first start with the measurement procedure. So there are two parts in it. First of all, we have a sample. The sample is diluted to achieve a suitable concentration. And then a photometric reaction is carried out with the photometric reagent so that the dye is formed. And then the absorbance, the intensity of the absorbance of the dye is measured with the spectrophotometer. And secondly, a calibration graph is composed using several solutions with known concentrations of ammonium. And from that calibration graph, then the, eventually the ammonium nitrogen content in the real sample is calculated. You can see here symbols of different quantities and in few slides it will become evident why they are here. And these are all the quantities which will be appearing in our measurement model. And now uh, this modeling approach for measurement uncertainty estimation has a number of steps. And the step number one is measure and definition. And measurement, as we know, is the quantity that is intended to be measured. It may seem that it is very easy to define the measurement in this case. And in fact, it indeed is not really difficult. But there are a couple of things that need to be taken into account. First of all, we can express the concentration as ammonium ion concentration. Or we can also express it as just nitrogen, ammonium nitrogen concentration. And in water studies, it is more common to express ammonium concentration not, at, not as ammonium ion, but as ammonium nitrogen con content in the sample, expressed in milligrams per liter. So that how many milligrams of ammonium nitrogen is there in one liter of the water. And our sample is a water sample. And in this case, we also uh, measure the ammonium ion concentration in the sample, not in the whole overall object, meaning the sampling uncertainty for us will not be affected. 